Hi, I'm Dawn Smart, the owner of Dore Designs Incorporated. I also am the head designer for the company and the, the CEO uh, and probably the head janitor sometimes too. I have uh, owned this company since 2007 and it is uh, my family, my home, it is my passion, my love, and uh, I hope you enjoy hearing a little bit more about what we do. Hi, welcome to Dore Designs. I'm going to give you a little tour around before we get started working on your dress. A lot of people ask me about how I got into designing dresses for ballroom dancers, and there's a, a great story that sort of takes me on this journey. When I was a little girl, my mom, and I say little, I was three years old, my mother was uh, darning some socks, which is something we did back in the 60s still. And she handed me uh, sc the scrap bag because I was bored and I was driving her nuts. And I took some scissors and I cut some fabric and she wasn't paying any attention to me. She gave me a needle as, even though I was three, a big one, and I sewed uh, the two pieces of fabric together. And when she looked at me finally, after I was done with my little project, she said, what is that? And I said, I made a Barbie doll cape. She still has it. She saved it. And I think back on that now, it was what I wanted to do. You, I could tell that at the time. Like, I, 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 I loved it. I loved everything I had done. This is where, of course, all the magic and the sparkle lives in this, in this building. And as you can see, there's every color of the rainbow in here and a lot of stones. And we're gonna spend some time in here talking about what kind of dress do you really want. So I learned how to sew when I was about seven. I started making my own clothes when I was about eight. And I designed things, I redid patterns. I couldn't even reach the cutting table when I started sewing, whether the table that we would cut patterns on. I, I love to go into fabric stores and buy a lot of fabric. And the people at the behind the counter would say to my mom, does she know what she's doing? And my mother said she does this all the time. I had stacks and stacks and stacks of fabric at home. So let's go this way. We're gonna go through uh, the building and I'm going to introduce you to everyone here. We're going to start with shipping. Alfonso, would you wave? Because there are ladies who would love to know who Alfonso really is. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Dore. There are a lot of ladies out there in Dore land that know Alfonso very, very well because they talk to him on the phone all the time to get their dresses delivered. I got to high school and I actually took classes in sewing for the first time. My, my grandmother had taught me how to sew and I started making things that were better. I started to learn the actual process of putting things together. People around me will agree this continues to this day. I like the idea of getting started on the project. I liked the conceptual part of the project, designing the project, and I didn't so much like doing the hems. So I had a lot of things that were not finished until my home ec teacher in high school told me that I had to start actually finishing everything I did. So meanwhile, I decided that I wanted to be a doctor and I, I, I didn't even think that I wanted to do this fashion thing at all because my, my parents were involved in education. My father was determined that I either be a doctor or a lawyer and I was headed on a different path. So. I put down the sewing machine, I put down the sewing needles, even though every now and then I would come back to it for some project, but it was basically in my past and not in my future. I did a lot of things other than becoming a doctor. I, I started into pre-med, I ended up in psychology, and I, I ended up going into real estate immediately afterwards because I like to do multiple things at once. I don't like to just do one thing. So for me, the real estate served the purpose. It kind of, I was out and about, got to see people, I got to do things, but I didn't have to do the same thing every day. And then one day, a friend of mine in real estate asked me if I would go to a party with him 
a Chamber of Commerce party at night. And I said, I, I can't understand why I don't know about a party. I'm, I'm the party princess of, of my town. Like, I should know about all parties, but let's go. Sure. 